Do you like what you are seeing? Yep, I know it is really amazing. And we are going to make the same in this tutorial and it is really easy peasy. So let's start before people click away. I'm going to use the same object as you saw just before this hand right here. You can get this free from this add-on called Blender Kit. You can search thousands of 3D models here and easily get what I have used here. Link is in the description. Okay, enough with unpaid promotion. There are going to be three steps. First, making our mesh disappear. Second, making particles appear from the disappearing mesh. And third, making awesome materials to make it even more realistic. First step to make our object disappear, we will take a cube and scale it in edit mode so that it covers our hand to see properly go to object data properties and under viewport display change display as wire now we can adjust it really better let's move it up for now now selecting our main object head to the modifiers and add a boolean and then select our cube as the object also setting it to fast now if we move our cube you will see this result i will also animate it right now so that everything becomes convenient so we don't have to move it up and down to see the result so at the first frame press i while cube is selected and it will insert a keyframe i'll set it to 180 frames all the way down so that it covers the hand and again press i and a keyframe will be applied automatically second step making the particles is a super easy because I have made a drag and drop thing. For that, first download the free blend file, then go to the append and select the free blend file. Inside, select node tree and then select the node group. The person part is done. Now, we just have to add a random cube to the scene, which is gonna be not visible later. Head to the modifier, add a geo node on our cube. Inside geo node, delete group input, which is the original cube. And now to import our system, press shift A and then go to the group and here we have that node group that we imported earlier so first we want to select where we want the particles to appear which is our hand so select it and it's not working because we have to provide it particles object as well that are going to be emitted so add a cube bevel it make smaller and then select it and now wait i think of course now we have to also define where we want the particles to appear we want particles where it is getting cut by the boolean also, let's spin this so that it just doesn't disappear every time. To extract that data, apply a vertex weight proximity on our hand and our target object will be our cube. Then we need to assign it for which vertex we want that data, which is for all the vertices, of course. So for that, we will create vertex group from here. Go into edit mode, select all of them click on plus icon and then click on assign to assign them all heading back to the modifier inside the vertex group select the group we just created also change proximity mode to geometry and geometry to face so we can just hover over here press ctrl c and then go back here in the spawn and ctrl v and it will automatically paste it oh by mistake i will check this skip button you might have to uncheck it so that the simulation works now if you play and the pc broke this is because we have to set range using the highest in the modifier section so i'm going to set it to 0 0.02 for now it could be different for you so just try playing with it and that is good enough and this is the result that we get now we can tweak around with this node to get desired result we'll go step by step but i want to work on the wind direction and the edge first the direction i want them is to go up so right now it is at minus so it is going down the third value is a z which is going up and down so i will make it 0.001 and it will go up now it is going up but as you can see they are not lasting that long and reason being is their particle age if you increase the age to 40 for example they will last a little bit longer let's go over these settings one by one the first thing that is the particle density is setting how much particles are going to be emitted so if i set it to 100 which is going to be very low so very few number of particles will be emitted like this and this also looks good so the second thing is a normal scale if we set it to a really strong value they are going to go towards the normal direction like that. you will see the result yourself right now as you can see they are going to the normal direction of the hand which is really strong so i have kept it very low <laughs> noise scale is for 
setting how much noise you want and noise multiplier will multiply the amount of the noise now let's discuss about the wind direction so if i just copy this value to the wind direction this first value is the x value so it's going to move either to the right or to the left i'm guessing it's going toward the right and that should be the result yes as you can see it's going to the right now next thing particle edge you already know after that we have camera so for example we can see these particles are looking proper from this direction but from the side they are not looking that great so if you want to for example render them using this camera let's just lock the camera and let's just move around the camera so for example my camera is here right now and some of them are flat and it's not giving me the really good visual that i want so what can we do for that okay we can just go here and select our camera they will be always facing the camera and you will get the perfect result each and every time now the skip button is going to skip the simulation so that it doesn't start it doesn't happen and the last thing is reflection if i add a plane right now here like this so for example i want these particles to bounce on this plane for that that is really simple first of all i have to change the wind direction to the minus 0.02 so that they go down not up i want them to reflect on this for that i will just have to select this object and that should do the work you will see that they will bounce on this plane when they come in contact with it it's gonna look even more better when you see it on the render so these are all the settings that you can utilize using this node i haven't named this but you can go in ahead and name it whatever you want whatever up material we apply to our original particle which is this one let's rename this in the outliner so this is the our particle and we can have any texture on it as you can see right here and go to the shader editor and just lock onto this one and we don't want this principal bstf so the first three nodes that we are going to new need is the emission second one is the transparent bstf and the third one is mixed bstf which i'm going to press ctrl shift right click drag on this to the emission and it is going to be appearing automatically and we can connect this to the surface so first of all we want some random colors on this particle so we can use a color ramp and connect this color to the color right here and we can set random colors right here for example i will have a pink and then i will have a purple as well how can we get a good result so we will use a node called object info and here we'll get a random object so we'll connect this to the factor and it is going to randomize the color to all of them it is not looking that great now it is like really really flat so to make it even better let's just switch to the render view we are going to use a node called layer weight this is going to make our result even better we we'll connect the funnel to the factor and set it to 0 0.2 using a color ramp right here i'll just move it all the way right here by mistake i've taken the translucent it should be transparent that's why the result was not good also let's just reduce the strength of the world to zero for the emission i'm gonna let the particle emission to be at around 10 and you can see i've set the color like this now we want to like finish it off really properly the hand is getting cut off which we don't want now for the final effect we are going to apply a glitch material at the cutting part so for that we are going to again go to file append this file is going to be available on my gumroad page for free you can download it from there and you can just click on it and append and then you can go into the materials and here you will see the materials a lot of materials the one we want is the arm so what we have to do is just click on this plus icon and in the drop down we're going to select the arm 002 and we get this what you can do is basically select all this except this one right here that is the original material we can just control c go to our arms material which is the normal material applied to our object you can just drag this all down control v and what we just have to do is connect this final output right here to this one and for our original texture to appear as well we can connect this to the shader right here which has no connection oh yeah i forgot to mention something because it is going to utilize uh data from our current node system which is we have to enter the same data we have used which is this group right here so i will control c and control v right here 
the reason being we have to apply it here as well so now it is not going to work as you expect it to be because the reason being there's a really important trick that is being applied here now you have got the shortcut to apply the materials but the thing is you have to head back to the geo node system <clears throat> we'll bring in our original hand in here as well so i'll bring it right here what we have to do is we have the original mess as well here we don't need this one so we'll hide it and use join geometry connect it right here connect it back and now we get it the original thing now this texture is not looking that great so let's head back to the materials and here we have to adjust something first of all let's change it to the camera so it looks better as you can see it is better than before now the difference in the emission of this and this is quite large and we can just change the emission strength right here to match it to our particles and now it's looking really better than before okay we have reached the final step and making it the best as we can and that is to just make changes in the compositor so first of all before we could make any changes in the compositor we have to get a render out of this one so first of all i check use nodes and click on backdrop and we can click this one icon right here to get one render done now this is the result we got and you can see it is right here as well so i will click on shift left click on this and we can see the same result in the background now what i'm going to do is add a clear node right here Press shift of course to add a clear node and it is set to the perfect thing i want it to be i set it to high because that is too much change around with your settings of course because mine are not going to be perfect for you so also what we can do is <clears throat> we can go here make the compositor always on so we can see in the real time as well what, what, is, what is going on so we can get a bit of a result what is actually happening the final thing that i did to make everything look so good is as you can see i have enabled depth of field and selected the camera as the focus object and then it is going to like really mess with the clear node so heading back to the clear node and i will adjust the threshold to making it to like uh, maybe six or something like that to get the good result as you can see it looks it is looking really gorgeous right now wait guys before you go away i forgot to mention you the most important trick right now it's only getting disintegrated what if you want it to be integrated make it summon or to make it up here so that is really really easy with just two click first click on the wind direction i will make it minus direction it will go down and then the second tick will be on the our boolean the boolean modifier we used we have to change the mode from difference to intersect and that will do it and let's play from the start and you will see this beautiful result with just two clicks don't let me catch you running away without subscribing to the channel and that's gonna be all folks for today's tutorial as i mean that was all that i could share and if you like this tutorial give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more future videos thanks for watching and have a nice day